internet it's saturday the 30th of july 2016 it's gotten cold it's raining we're not very happy about that but we don't have to stay in jasper we can go wherever we want so we're gonna leave we are in the rocky mountains after all and the temperature and the weather can change like that see what happens the weather changes rapidly well it's already changed back but it's not raining mount robson is the highest peak in the rockies there's plenty of hikes to be done in this area but the one that we're doing is the regular day hike couple of k's each way kind of thing gets us to mount robson lake in the shadow of mount robson how's the color of the water why is it blue the path now winds its way a little bit away from the river in the distance the formidable heights of mount robson check this out can't even really see it because it goes so high up that it's into the clouds very very tall how tall not 100 percent certain didn't do the research you can know these woods are amazing kind of reminds me of vancouver island a little bit so dark and dense and rainforesty the only real difference from the vancouver island forest is these flat fat low height shrubs they got these really awesome red berries on them not salmon berries I really really dig this moss stuff I know I talked about it last time when we were in uh, in Vancouver Island but it's everywhere behind me and just like that you come out of the rainforest area bright sunshine blue lakes massive mountains in fact the tallest mountain in the Rockies that one right there remember how I was saying about the blue lakes that's one there it's not actually a lake it's a river Good work truck? Yes, twice as long as I thought. Yeah. It was very nice. We did suffer from the Australianisms of thinking 4.3 kilometers meant 4.3 kilometer return loop, but it didn't. It totaled a 9K walk, which is an ideal family outing apparently. <laughs> yes, very fit families here in Canada. The sign says an ideal family outing. There's a random roadside stop. We're about 30 Ks out of Blue River. We think, we think that's gonna be our destination tonight. We're not hundred percent certain. There is an epic waterfall here. It's got no signage, no nothing, just a little pull out here. Look, Gav sitting there watching it. Check this out. So we decided to stick with our initial plan and stop in at Blue River. Here it is, Blue River. Well, this is the Blue River Motel anyway. There's a lake down there. There's snow in the mountains. There's snow on the mountains. It's looking nice. So this is downtown Blue River. We've been told there's a beach. Now that's an ambiguous term in Canada. Could mean a bunch of logs and a whole bunch of pebbles where the water meets the uh, coast, or could mean what we think a beach is, sand and water and people bathing. We should go down Main Street. Main Street's still all cracked and broken. What's your take on this town, Gav? Uh, I like it. There's nice scenery. There's some bizarre looking abodes. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. That's yeah. the first time I've heard a bird chirp for a while. Yeah. I hated it. I'm gonna make a massive assumption. I'd say this is Blue Lake because we're in Blue River and there's a lake. What do you reckon, Blue Lake or Blue River Lake? Can't be Blue, Blue River Lake. You can't have two bodies of water in the same lake. Like, can't. In the same title. There's a hard and steady rule. If your town is named after a body of water and you have a lake in the town, you can't name it the town name plus the word lake. It just wouldn't work. Okay, so there is sand at this beach however i don't want to sound like the grumbling australian i still wouldn't call it a beach sure there's water lapping against sand but if that's the only criteria for a beach it's a bit of a loose bit of a loose term i just finished dissing this beach beach and gav was praising it i wouldn't say i was praising it i was saying it was the closest thing to to getting uh beach status since we've been here the dirt is less more sand like don't get us wrong we're enjoying it just don't call it a beach and everything is going to be fine <laughs> <laughs> we've just done a little walk through blue river now we need to get some food and in a town the size of blue river there isn't that many options in fact there aren't any there's nowhere to get food you have to actually come back out to the highway which is here and go across to the gas station to get food because there's no other food anywhere in this town <laughs> if we wait till summer one place opens up oh no well, hang on it is summer no, it's closed for the summer. It's closed for the summer. It opens up in the winter. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait that long, man. I'm hungry. This is 
not looking good. We are in a truck stop. That's it. Not even, not even a good one. Blue River. What have you done to us? I don't want to eat any of that. What are our options for food? There's a restaurant over there. Not this one. Yeah. Two, two across. There's actually a restaurant that's still open. So as soon as he's finished in the washroom, I'm glad we don't have to eat this crap. I don't know about you, man. You, would you have eaten anything from there? Oh, I kind of went to the washroom to sort of not really, like, just put off a little bit, hey? That's but a no know, from Gav. You know, on, on. That's answered our prayers. This joint's open and serving. I'm not going to vlog my food because that's boring, but we're here now, we're going to eat, so it's a good view as well. So we are just about to order our food here at the Grill. It's actually called The Grill in Blue River, and you're not going to believe the Canadian hospitality. We're over there at the Blue River Motel, and the people that were owning the motel in here, finishing their meal, they said, we're going back to our place. We've actually got some leftover lasagnas and we were going to throw them out. So if you want to come back and eat there, you're totally welcome. So we were like, man, we've just been looking for food in the town and we came across the highway to go to the grill. Now we're going to go back into town to eat at your house. That's awesome. So let's go back there and have that food. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Oh, hey, thanks for checking out Gives A Minute. My YouTube channel, it's the one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. Now, if you're a photographer like I am, you might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets. And you can also subscribe to my channel and check out all the other social crap. You know you want to. even longer pause this time. See you later.